In the world of artificial intelligence, Chinese startup DeepSeek is squarely in the limelight. That's thanks to its two new powerful AI models, V3 and R1. Released in December and January, both were found to match or even surpass the performance of rival chatbots, including dominant players like US-based OpenAI's ChatGPT or Meta's Llama. But V3 and R1 were built at a fraction of the cost and computing power. In doing so, DeepSeek achieved a feat once considered impossible by Silicon Valley. The company was aware China was under sanction. It would be harder for them to access like the more newer you know uh, chips. They used like an H800, which is like less powerful. Experiment with with it, and then use like a lot of like you know um, model act architectural innovation and, and training innovation. But the combination of those all training innovation was like you know, aiming at the same thing uh, to reduce or even minimize like the need of compute resources for training a modern model and they succeeded in doing that you know that's why can people say like you know, the sanction actually you know backfire and force the company to like you know um, innovate and find ways to like you know, train a uh, modern model with like less resources some tech executives in china view deep seek as beijing's key to winning the ai war with washington but some industry analysts say it's still too soon to call the race. That's because DeepSeek's R1 and V3 models are open source. Open source gives public access to a software program's source code, allowing third-party developers to modify or share its design, fix broken links, or scale up its capabilities. US AI developers is really, you know, try to integrate and learn from DeepSeek and to try to improve their model's performance, latencies, and also the efficiency. I think that's very important. But don't forget, DeepSeek, they are continuing to learning as well. They are learning from OpenAI, learning from Thropic, learning from Meta, all those models out there. So I think DeepSeek will continue to improve. Every other few months or even like, you know, just weeks, a Chinese company would come down to the market like you know, a very powerful model. Its achievements will be you know, instantly like, you know, outcompeted in just like a couple months after you know, their release. So this is just kind of a hot race, you know, they are competing against each other and innovating really fast. DeepSeek's cost-effective model is also raising questions about big investments going into semiconductor giant NVIDIA's graphic processing units, or GPUs. GPUs are seen as integral to designing the most cutting-edge AI models, with each chip able to fetch tens of thousands of US dollars. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, is NVIDIA's primary chipmaker. In the wake of DeepSeek's latest releases, NVIDIA's stock fell by as much as 17%, while the US-listed shares of TSMC fell 13%. Market now is worried that, oh, so we can actually train a model with such lower cost. Why we invest all this money in the hyperscalers and the chip makers? But for some tech analysts, NVIDIA's fate might just come down to so-called scaling laws. In the world of AI, scaling laws measure the relationship between model performance and their parameters. The larger the data set and the more advanced the hardware, the better the models are expected to perform. Tech giants have been splurging on the most advanced tech, most notably NVIDIA chips like the H100s, to eke out any possible edge in performance. If you have scaling law moving forward, well, people are just gonna buy more NVIDIA's GPUs and if you buy more NVIDIA GPUs, you need TSMC to manufacture in those chips for, um, for NVIDIA. But the problem is, oh, so whether this computing scale will continue. I do believe that compute scaling law will continue given the, well, the future demand for the compute. There will be broader range of like AI adoptions, uh, AI model developments. And that means you also need more computers, right? Because you have more people get into this field. So markets sort of freak out because if you don't have this computing scale of sustain moving forward, it basically impacts on the whole AI industry supply chain. After its stock tumbled, NVIDIA released a statement saying DeepSeek's advances actually show the usefulness of its chips for the Chinese market. It also said that more chips will be needed in the future to meet demand for DeepSeek's services.